Greetings everyone! Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Hats Unboxing. In this video I will take you back to the past and tell you a little bit about myself. It was the year 1994 when I started reading comics again. And this is the one comic that made me do so. Iron Man number 309. I was out of town on a business trip, but in the evening I had nothing to do. When I went to the local train station I found this comic. I took it back to my hotel room and I was blown away. It was all about a superhero fighting a robot who had stolen his body. What else could you wish for? And on the last pages was another big guy called War Machine. From that day on I started reading and collecting Iron Man comics. And I haven't stopped. It's been 26 years. It was only a few months later when Iron Man came to the TV. Yes, sure, he was only animated. But I didn't care much. Some of the stories were cheesy. But again, I didn't care. And then the first wave of action figures were released. From the so-called Marvel Action Hour. At first, these figures were not available in Germany. But I knew I had to get them. I was probably the biggest Iron Man fan on the planet. And this is my collection today. To get the first two figures, I had to drive to a specialized dealer who was willing to import toys from the US. It took me one and a half hour to get there and I bought my first Iron Man and first war machine. And then again I needed one and a half hour to get back home. But it was worth it. For me it was the beginning of something big. And now many years later I'm making YouTube videos about it. Just keep in mind, when I bought these figures, YouTube wasn't even founded. Back in the days these figures were amazing. Because you could remove some of the armor parts and switch it with other figures. So you could basically customize your own Iron Man. The more figures you had, the more you could customize. For a kid's toy this is a great idea. But sadly the quality wasn't that high. Sometimes parts fell off just by looking at them. The Marvel Action Hour contained two shows. Iron Man and the Fantastic Four. And each one of them had a whole bunch of action figures. Also on TV was Spider-Man the animated series. Who had action figures of the same style and size. It was a great time to be a kid. If you liked Marvel characters, then you had a lot of figures to play with. I think these figures were cheap. Not in Germany at first, because they were hard to get. It took some months to have them available at Toys R Us too. Now let's take a good look at the collection. I hope I do remember all the names. The first one is the regular Iron Man and War Machine. The next one are Hydro. Inferno, Silver Centurion, Stealth, Arctic, Space, Subterranean and another War Machine. A nice collection indeed. But I have two more figures. These are not strictly speaking Iron Man. But they feature the same body and the same interchangeable parts. The white one is the Crimson Dynamo. Also a suit Tony Stark wore in the comics for a while. And the green one is a guardsman. A suit Tony made a while back. It is so long ago even I can't remember why. Maybe some viewer can tell me. Here is another Space Armor Iron Man. It is still sealed. Yes, this is what it looks like when you get them. No fancy box. Just a cardboard. If you like these kind of figures and you want to collect them yourself, there's not much holding you back. They are still available second hand, even in a very good condition at a reasonable price. They must have made so many of them back in the day. And I just realized, the Silver Centurion is called Hologram here. I hope you did enjoy my little time travel video. If you did, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. I still have a box full of stuff I want to show you. 
So join me in the next video.